Good morning everyone, John for Popeye's Postcards. We're gonna do our daily what sold video. These are cards that sold on December 23rd, 2021. You can see on the screen, I had 21 orders for 272.40 and I had one card sale on hit postcard for 12.99. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is Newton or Newtown, Pennsylvania, entrance to Cemetery 1910. Uh, publisher is Hutchinson. Looks like it's hand colored. Looks hand colored. I'm not sure if it actually is. Yeah, it looks it is it's hand colored. So this one sold for oh $49.99. I actually took a best offer. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. Probably $40 something like that so uh, Merry Christmas Santa delivering toys children or make that child angels and boss 1908 so there's that eight dollars best offer and let me see next Arlington Texas this is the Arlington Stadium home of Texas Rangers baseball I have probably about 50 uh, to 100 of these and I'm selling them consistently for $2.99. Got those in the big auction buyout in August of 2021. This is Galveston Eagles Home Air 48, circa 1920s. So there's that. And sold for $10.99. This is San Antonio, Texas, 1968 World's Fair, Hemisphere, Mini Monorail Art. Probably have 20 plus copies of this. And I have several different varieties of cards from the 1968 Hemisphere. But this was one of the first ones that sold, $3.99. Ocean City, Maryland. This is Beach Plaza Hotel. Bow Con Apartments on Boardwalk. Probably 1960s or 70s. Have a person coming in and has been buying up a lot of Ocean City, Maryland cards, and this one went to her. And I think she got one more too. This is Valentine's Dutch Boy Waiting for Main Girl, 1913. And went for six fifty. F. A. Owen is a publisher. They did a lot of arts and crafts era cards, also. Oh, got an offer come in. Get rid of that. Okay, next is Saint Augustine, Florida, where the victims of the USS Maine are buried. It's a cemetery. Sold for fourteen ninety nine. It's a New Jersey large letter greetings from Cape May. Uh, I got this in a big lot of large letter greetings from Jersey Town, New Jersey Towns, Beach Towns. And uh, I think I ended up paying 2 to $3 per card. But this one sold uh, $10 on a best offer. Richmond, Virginia Confederate uh, Monument of Stonewall Jackson. It's a linen Got this for 50 cents in an antique mall. Sold for $7.99. Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. This is the Days Pharmacy Drugstore, circa 1950s. Pretty cool little store. Uh, $10.99 for that card. Next is Selma, Alabama. This is the Selma Delicatessen Restaurant Interior. Uh, probably 1940s or 50s linen card. And it sold for $13.99. Lewisburg, PA. Uh, Bechtel's Restaurant and Dairy, 1950s. And this one sold for $5.99. Uh, got it in an antique mall for probably a buck or two. This is an automobile car dealer advertising, 1948 Nash four-door. Sold for $8. 
$8.99. Been selling a lot of uh, the car advertisement recently. And as I've said, it would be much, much better to command a higher price if the dealer's information was on the back of the card. So what was that, $8.99? Yeah. So next card, Omaha, Nebraska, Carter Lake Sea Scout Base BSA. So that's Boy Scouts of America. Uh, it's a linen, probably 1940s or 50s. 1950. Uh, $6.99. Next, this is an old one. Uh, old postcard. This is the way I used to do it. Old postcard, hand colored, Southern Pines, uh, North Carolina. I've not pulled this one yet, so I hope I still have it. But uh, it's been up for yeah, seven eight years. Uh, a whopping one ninety nine. This is uh, Walt Disney World Liberty Square Artist Concept Pre Opening. So if you find Walt Disney cards. And this is one in Florida, and they're like these painting artist concept sketches. Uh, and if you can get them for relatively cheap, which is under a couple bucks, buy them. These are the pre openings of uh, Walt Disney World, and they'll say right here in the center line opening October of 1971. Uh, this went for it was on a best offer of probably $12 or so. Uh, some of them can go up into the 20s, uh, depends on how rare they are, uh, the ones of the Contemporary Resort, that I think they call it the Contempo Resort, that one, and there's one a lady on water skis out in, um, I think it's Bay Lake, so just keep your eye out, I uh, probably got this for a buck or two at a, you know, antique mall or a... Uh, postcard show but again it probably went for it went on a best offer probably uh, 12 12 bucks or so okay Bisbee Arizona this is aerial view of Main Street town 1950s I've always done really well with Bisbee Arizona cards um, this one went for $6.99 I've had some real photos that sold into the 20s and 30s so keep an eye out for Bisbee Next is, uh, let me see, Oak Beach, New York, the Chapel Church, 1909. Went on a best offer for 11.50, I think it said. And I got it from that uh, dealer that passed away, so I probably paid about 15 cents for that card. Uh, let me, yeah, 11.50. Uh, sold this CD that I have no idea how to pronounce. I'm not even going to try. Probably got this at Goodwill when I was picking CDs. Um, it went for $40.99. Uh, I just bought it because I very rarely run into, I guess, Indian or Pakistani music. And I think it was probably a dollar ninety-nine or a dollar. So anyway, I bought it and brought in $40.99. I think it's staying within the United States. Okay, this is Austin, Pennsylvania, Potter County, 1906 Town View, uh, Costella Avenue. Uh, came from the dealer who passed away, so probably paid, it looks like, I don't know, what is it? I can't read what that was. It looks like I had erased it. Uh, anyway, sold for $12 on a best offer, and the only sale over on HIP. Allentown, Pennsylvania, Hamilton Street, Schaefer Beer Built Board. That's probably what sold this, was this Schaefer, Schaefer Beer Built Board. Uh, nice card. $12.99. $12 okay, uh, this is Christmas Eve. I hope you all have a great Christmas t tomorrow. Excuse me. And there will be a video tomorrow. I think it's the haul video from the recent auction. On Sunday, you get a little peek behind the curtains at the Hoarder House here, and uh, we'll be working on more of the Beginner's Guide to Selling Postcards. I think those first five segments only went over maybe 160 uh, slides that I have in this PowerPoint I put together, and I, there was a total of almost 600, so I'm probably about a third of the way done, so keep an eye out for that, and as always... Thank you for watching.